Thank you to EA Sports for allowing me to participate in this event. What you guys are looking at is actual gameplay for Madden 20, which is going to be part of Face of the Franchise QB1 campaign. No, you cannot play this during the beta that's going to be starting on June 14th, but I'm giving you guys some insight. Uh, pretty much, obviously, you guys should know by now that the Pro Bowl is going to be a part of Franchise. You guys have been requesting that for so long. It's finally going to be a part of it. But I want to break down why Kyler Murray is going to be so important in face of the franchise. Now, everything is about Patrick Mahomes. He's the cover boy. He's everything. He's this. He's that. Whatever. But this guy is going to be very, very unique because we already know that he's coming in to be the starter of a team. And there's a lot of fire coming in with him. So I believe, with the exception of Bazooka, he's going to have every single thing that Patrick Mahomes, well, and probably not the, um, the no look, the no look dead eye and stuff like that. Like we haven't actually seen him ever do a pass like that. So he's probably not going to have those. But as far as like escape artists, being able to throw the ball accurately, those things Kyler Murray is going to have, he's probably going to have a lot more of the mobile QB traits. I've gone over that with the previous video, trying to explain to you guys that every quarterback is going to play different. Tom Brady will not be able to roll out like Kyler Murray. You know what I'm saying? And for that for that matter, Ben Roethlisberger will not be able to roll out like Kyler Murray. Everybody's going to be playing according to the way that they actually play, uh, you know, on the field in the real NFL. So there's going to be a lot of things going on. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to dive back into his actual card in Madden 19 and take a look at it so I can kind of give you guys some insight into why he should be your focus. If you're going to be doing franchise, do whatever you can to get Kyler Murray on your team because I'm going to show you some of these things right now in Madden 19. Right now, we're going to take a look at Kyler Murray in Madden 19 and why I'm telling you he's going to be so important to you for Madden 20. So look, pretty much this is his 99 overall card. So you're not going to be starting with this card, obviously, with all these attributes and everything that goes along that ride for, you know, face of the franchise in Madden 20. But what I want to point out to you is his attributes and what makes him so interesting when compared to like a known quarterback. Like, like right now, we have Aaron Rodgers right there, right? We're going to take a look at some of these things. Now, Remember, Patrick Mahomes is what the game is going to be all about. But these are the things that you have to understand that he can work his way up to. Although, like they've said, the developers have continuously said that there will be nobody else in the game to get Bazooka other than Patrick Mahomes. Now, at this point, I don't know how true that can actually be because there's, you know, there's a lot of people... I don't know. Michael Vick threw the ball, I think, 80 yards. I don't know. But if they're saying that, just understand that these all of these abilities are available in every mode i don't know if somebody has already said that if you've heard that uh but the abilities are available in regs franchise ultimate team everywhere so just so you understand when you're throwing the ball that deep that's probably the only reason that you would go after patrick mahomes but i want you to remember this though how many times are you going to be able to actually be able to throw the ball 80 yards you see what i'm saying like even if you take the touchback and you get it to the 25 yard line most qbs are going to be able to get it to a certain distance regardless so when you start evaluating evaluating all of that and trying to figure out all right yo i want this guy because i know he can throw 80 yards and everybody's going to be going crazy going after patrick mahomes you have to also remember that that's not something that everybody is going to really need Typically, if the quarterback can throw the ball like 60 yards in the air, you'll be good. Because when you're lobbing it, depending on the coverages, 60 to 70 yards max is probably good enough. The 80-yard throw, it, you know, the more the merrier. It is what it is. But pay attention closely, right? You see what his card is like as a 99 right here. Um, the speed, obviously, is like a 94. This is an end-of-the-year card. So starting in Mutt and also in face of the franchise, you're going to have the opportunity to see like what his you know the final upside of what he's going to be now we still don't know if he's getting a rookie premiere i would be leaning towards yes if you guys think so also leave it in the comments like, because we know he's going to be a starter we already know that he's a you know a definite starting qb so he should get a rookie premiere as if he plays well let me just point this out to you guys if he plays well not only for face of the franchise you know re regardless of when you start your franchise or whatever based on the updates that he's going to get He's going to be unbelievable just because of the way that he's like, they're going to build him. Remember, he's an undersized quarterback. When you look at the, uh, you know, the prototypical guys, even Aaron Rodgers being 6'2 is kind of on the short end. But this guy is going to move around just like Russell Wilson. All right. So he's going to have a lot of those abilities. And I know a lot of you guys are, you know, leaving comments on my other video like, yo, G. Maya, but I'll just ride with Russell Wilson because, yo, he's going to be, he's going to have escape artists. He's going to have all that stuff. I agree. He's going to have a lot of those stop on the dime moves where he can get out, you know, avoid pressure and stuff like that. But how good is how good is his throw, pro, throw power going to be? His throw power has to be. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. 
We all know Russell Wilson can throw that thing. We all know that. But it depends on what kind of things they give him when it comes time for, you know, the actual game's release. And the reason that I'm showing this to you is because it's all this hype over Patrick Mahomes, but he's going to be somebody that you should probably watch. Because, again, regardless of what type of attribute, like the bazooka and all that stuff like that, and what you can build up with all these abilities, the X-Factor superstar, the quarterbacks are typically going to throw and, you know, in my opinion, as far as the longevity of how the ball goes, I don't know if it's going to be an exact science. And some of you guys have already challenged me with it. I'm going to be coming back to you guys as I get more footage, as EA releases more things. I am going to be coming back to you guys with more information about it because I'm very, very interested. I see you guys' insight. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, bro, it's the same thing, whatever like that. But remember, just like I told you uh, last year, I'm not going to condemn the game before I actually play it. I did the same thing going into 19. You know what I'm saying, bro? You, you always... When you have the opportunity to be able to look at some of the stuff that you've gotten, like I've complained a lot in Madden 19 and I've submitted a lot of the things to EA Sports and um, they, they've actually listened. Like if you look at the way the quarterbacks are moving, even if you guys didn't get everything that you want, one of my pet peeves from Madden 15 to Madden 16 was quarterback movement because they didn't move the right way. Even in 17, they weren't moving right. 19, at this point they're moving decent, but I love the smoothness in which the mobile quarterbacks move. So that's going to make me feel like, all right, do I want to have dead eye with Tom Brady or do I want to roll out with Cam Newton or, for, or Kyler Murray for that matter? Because he's going to be able to get those abilities. Or do, like I said before, do I want to Drew Brees? Do I want to just be just straight accurate to sit in the pocket throwing straight hot ones? These are decisions that you're going to have to make. And I guarantee you this much, right? For all of you guys that are saying, yeah, bro, it's going to be the same thing. Watch what's going to happen. I'm not guaranteeing you guys that I might not rage, but what I am going to tell you is this. For the focus that they put on the QBs, I guarantee you, you won't be doing the same things with Tom Brady that you'll be doing with Mahomes. I can guarantee you that. based on Just, just based on seeing the game and, and, and so many different, um, you know, I've heard a lot of feedback from people that are actually there that are playing the game at EA Play. It, it, it doesn't matter how they patch the game. The quarterbacks that are like field generals and guys that really can't move will not be able to all of a sudden start running around like Michael Vick. It's not going to be like that. And that was one of the major issues in Madden 15, if you guys remember. Tom Brady was able to run PA reach around like he was Michael Vick. And everybody's like, yo, what? Drew Brees is running around like Michael Vick. They're like, yo, what's going on right now? The, the speed was too much. Now they've taken that back. So now Drew Brees has to be Drew Brees. He has to just stand there and, and do what he can do. So this is what this is what I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Quarterbacks like Kyler Murray, because of all the hype that's behind him, are probably gonna have a lot of good, um, it's gonna be a good feel to the card based on like an all around QB. Aaron Rodgers is gonna be huge. Tom Brady, the biggest issue you're gonna have with Tom Brady, as we all know, he's slower than Gary the Snail. That's the biggest issue that you're gonna have with Tom Brady. After that, you'll be good to go. You won't have any other issues with anything that's going on, but he's gonna be slower than Gary the Snail. He's not gonna be able to move around. Obviously, if you're sending that major pressure, if you're coming out with dudes like Aaron Donald and dudes got all kinds of, you know, X-Men factors, dudes are gonna be coming in and screaming. Maybe, uh, you know, like the step up and elude, because there's certain uh, uh, zone abilities that uh, Tom Brady's going to be able to have. Like, you know, like how he's, he's shifty in the pocket. He'll be able to avoid pressure like that, but he won't have escape artists. So you're going to have to fix. Like, these are things that I want you guys to kind of keep in your head. So that way you can come back when the game is released. Like, yo, g -Maya, I thought you said this. I thought you said that. Because I have no problem with being wrong. But if you just are already like, yo, bro, I'm not doing. I can't really listen to that right now. You see what I'm saying, bro? Because like I said. Even when you, most of you guys that are still watching my videos, which I appreciate the support, even when you guys stop playing, I've still been playing. I've been trying to give feedback, even though I've been raging. You see what I'm saying? As mad as it makes me, because it's a new era of the game. The, the, even with the NFL. How many of us watch the NFL and we're like, yo, I hate this because if a dude taps a guy, it's like a major penalty. Everything has changed. So it's all about that excitement of the aggressive catch. Oh my goodness, this guy's doing that, whatever. But in fairness, you're going to get mossed in the game, but it's but they gradually toned it down from 16 to where we are now. If they give us a decent balance to where we can actually intercept the ball, we can make better plays, because defensively, I'm waiting to get my hands on some more clips and some more information about it to kind of see what's going on. Because the video that I released about the official gameplay, that was on Pro. 
or like, you know, regular arcade mode stuff. So it's not the realistic way that they're gonna play. Obviously, they're gonna tune it up uh, when it comes to the different game modes. But I want you guys to keep that in mind that specifically right now with Face of the Franchise, Kyla Murray is somebody that I would absolutely go after as opposed to uh, Patrick Mahomes. Now, if you still think that, you know, you're going into a draft or whatever and you're gonna be doing your franchises, you still think Patrick Mahomes is better than Kyla Murray, you know, I'm, because he's a rookie, they're probably not gonna give him a lot of stuff, but he's gonna have the opportunity to be very, very glitchy, very, very fast, and get those upgrades very, very quickly. So, in conclusion, who would you rather go with after all the information I just gave you? Kyler or Patrick Mahomes? Leave it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at G Myerswell for more Madden 20 updates, and I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love.